Hello guys, uh, this is my 78 Cutler Supreme. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the dash panel to access the cluster because uh, I'm going to change some lights for the cluster and put some LED lights in there. And um, so I'm going to show you step by step uh, what tools you need to do this job. And first of all, you would need a um, socket size 1 by 4 and you need a flip, flip screwdriver this one and um, you would also need something like I'm using a scale to remove the trim so it's pretty easy to put it in and you'll see how I'll do it okay alright so first things first you access you just go to the four bottom bolts right here to remove the First of all, you remove this, and then you're gonna do with the Phillips screwdriver. One, two. I've already loosened it up, so three, and then there's the fourth one. And now you're gonna remove the trim and this light switch knob. So to remove this light switch knob, sometimes it troubles you. So what you're gonna do is. If you can see this spot right here, it has a clip. So you put something sharp in there and then pull it towards you. The clip makes it go loose. So there you go. It's that simple. If you try to pull it, do whatever you want, it won't come out. That's the only way to do it. I don't know where it went. I'll find it later. So pull this out, keep it on the side, and now it's time to remove the trim. All right, show you. So you can, just... and before you do this, you can you can remove your negative battery cable in order to prevent any short circuits or anything, right? So. Uh... So I'm putting the scale right here to the trim. Just make sure you don't break it. Okay, I'm gonna try this side later on. But I'm use this side first. So see here you go. You put it in. use two hands in order to remove this. Try it once again. I'm not able to do it. Let's use two hands. Just give me a second guys. Trying to figure out where to put this camera right now so you guys can see. Put your scale in here. And there you go. It popped out. Right? And then you just try to remove the second hand. There you go, just popped out. You actually need two hands to do it. So here's my defrogger switch in here. 
so I'm gonna just unplug the clip like this pull it out Three. Here's the third trim, so you just keep it on the side. Okay, so now you've got to remove the other trim. Alright. You put it in there. Okay. One more try. Okay, here you go, it popped out. So you just do it from the top because it has a clip on the top and then you do it from the bottom. It's that easy. I'm just doing it from the center, that's why it's not coming out. There you go. And here it is in your hand. Alright guys. So now the dash panel you can see you can you have we have no trim here. No trim here. So right at the bottom you will see the socket switch the one by four socket and you're gonna just bring this guy in now in order to lose the dash so is loose second one Alright, second is loose. Now it's the last one right here. Alright, and here comes the last one right here. Now you just gonna pull this and this is loose. You can keep this on the side. Now here's the cluster. Now if to remove your cluster panel from the dash, what you're gonna do is where the white where the white plastic thing is and screw on the top, you just remove the white ones. Alright. But if you use the one where you can see the glass, the only glass will lose free, but not the whole cluster. So it depends what you're trying to do, right? So I'm gonna unscrew the white ones. There you go. It's almost loose. Second one. 